Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Shay J here. I'm super excited to start this new series, um, if you can call it a series really. I am learning how to do digital art. If anybody has watched my videos before, they know that I'm a traditional artist. I've been drawing since I could remember and it's something that I picked up and started practicing in high school. This is something that is tricky to learn, but it's definitely worth it when I finally do get there. But I want to learn digital art because it's a more versatile medium. I feel that it, in today's age, it's more valuable to be able to do digital art and the process of editing and recording my videos would be faster. And so I want to start this series to show a very raw process of me learning and struggling to figure out how to paint digitally. And so if you know me, I like watercolors, gouache, acrylics, all of those different things. And typically I like my art on paper. It's very hard for me to draw on a screen. It just doesn't have the same feel or control to it. And sometimes it can be overwhelming to learn. So in this video, it's the same subject as I was using in the practice reels video that I last posted. and. A lot of what you're seeing here in this video is me playing with layers and clipping masks and trying to figure out how to incorporate Photoshop, the knowledge that I do have of follow uh, ooh, of, <laughs> oh my goodness, my words, the knowledge that I do have of Photoshop into my painting process. And so a lot of this video is clicking com control Z and redoing a lot of things over and over again until I had a decent idea of what I wanted or at least put into action what I had imagined in my head. At this point, I felt like I was getting on, finally catching on to something. I decided to use the fill tool to trace my subject and create a clipping mask. And so that's the process that you're kind of watching in the video right now. But as that's going, I wanted to go ahead and give a little bit of a life update what's going on with me. So I'm super excited to announce that I have officially launched my very first shop. I'm using a site called Kofi and I'm super excited to share that you can order prints and commissions on the site. I hope to have a selection of stickers soon and different things like that. But for now, I just wanted to launch some prints options and some commission options so you can order all of the custom painting common orders that I normally get and I've already got my first one. I'm super excited about it. Also, I have officially signed up for my first craft show. It's not going to be anything special, but it is a craft show and I'm super stoked about it. I'm going to have prints and I'm going to be doing caricatures live for people and it's going to be a really fun time. There's going to be over a hundred vendors and so it really is going to be a great time. So that's kind of what's going on with me right now. Um, aside from learning to do digital art, I'm trying to catch up on some commissions that I have in right now. I'm getting my watercolor inventory up as far as I can before the craft show because it'll be next weekend. So there's a lot going on right now, but this video um, really just showcases the kind of art I've been doing in my downtime. And it's carried a lot of frustration because if anybody knows me, I like fine art and it just, this digital painting doesn't have the control that I wanted it to have. I feel as though when I have a pencil in my hand, I can, I don't know, there's something about it that I just feel more in control and maybe it's just a learning curve. I don't know. But throughout the rest of this video, just enjoy the painting process and watching me play with clipping masks and different layers like multiply layers and different things like that to try to create the painterly effect that I wanted, which in the end, I don't think I really achieved that, but I ended up practicing sketching in the end of this video and just a lot of different things just to get more comfortable with the digital painting process. So. Stay tuned for the rest of this journey. It's definitely going to be a rough one, but it'll be interesting to watch as I learn techniques of a digital artist. So thank you for watching and enjoy.